Hey guys, I'm so sorry. This is actually gonna be part two of my college vlog or video, not vlog, uh, my Q&A. So if you guys didn't see yesterday's video, watch that video first and then watch this video. For some reason, only half of the video exported and then it was posted way too late for me. I realized like too late for me to like re-upload it. So we're just dividing it into two parts. It's gonna like literally leave off where it left off yesterday. So it's not gonna make much sense unless you watch the first half of the video, which I'll have linked down below, but I love you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new here. Um, yeah, okay, bye. Um, how do you feel like it's changed your faith life? Definitely grown, like, exponentially. I also think it's, as a leader, it's grown me, like, exponentially. Um, yeah. <laughs> Someone said boys. <laughs> okay, like, we're in a program of 43 people. It just, I mean, there are people who are date there, but, like, you're, we're in a program of 43 people, so. How college has affected your mental health, if it has at all? This school has helped it, for sure. Like, when I was going through, like, a rough time was as soon as I wasn't in school, because it's so nice to get out of my house, and I can just work from home and not leave my house for, like, five days if I want. So, I really like that I have to go to class, and then I'm around people, so it's helped me, like, so much. What kind of assignments are you given? Paper, research, presentations. They're the same as like a normal college would be. Um, if you have a presentation, you just record it. But I, like, I feel like a lot of people take online classes randomly through university anyways. Um, but yeah, we have papers, assignments. We have a lot of discussion posts. Honestly, I hate discussion posts. It's literally everyone says the same thing every time. Someone said, does the internship part make it hard to balance with work? Um, okay. That's how I kind of, I should have described this. This is kind of like an in, like a church internship with school. That's how I should have described it at first. I make my own schedule, so I just schedule everything around it. But I know that it is difficult for people, but we get our calendar at the beginning of the semester. And then you can like ask out. We have no out dates that you have to be there for. So you can ask those off like months in advance. But something unexpected that's happened to you during your ZLC experience. Um, I feel like a lot of things are unexpected. Like I don't really know what I would say necessarily. It was the best decision. That's what I'll say. It was the best decision I've ever made. I would say it's the best decision. Like it's borderline maybe over YouTube. Like it's obviously it's not, but it's like, eh, I don't know. They're like, not, they're equal. Is it harder to be a Christian when you're surrounded by other Christians? <laughs> That's actually really funny. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's just funny. What's the biggest thing God has shown you in your time there? Um, I would I don't know if there's one thing on my podcast the I love you so much podcast I have an entire episode of things that I learned in 2018 pretty much everything is from The program or related to the program. So if you guys want to hear like it's there How do you feel when you started and how do you feel now when I started? I literally applied on a whim like it was November when I decided I think and I was like, yeah I want to do that and I literally applied within two days and I was accepted like very soon after that um for application process, you apply to ZLC, and then once you get accepted through ZLC, you have to apply to Southeastern. So there's two application processes, basically. It's not that difficult of a process to apply, though. It's not, like, crazy. What led you to taking the leap of faith to move far away and take an untraditional route? I moved far away two years before I started ZLC. Um... I don't know. I feel like I just always knew I was going to do that, to be honest with you. I didn't really think much of it when I did it. Like, a lot of people have asked me that here, especially, and I just, like, I didn't really think about it. I don't know. Highs and lows of the past year of this school. Um, I feel like maybe my low would either be when I wasn't in ZLC this summer, honestly, or maybe some point at first semester, because I feel like the first semester you're just figuring things out, and then once you get out of first semester, you're like, wait, this is amazing. I mean, I still thought it was amazing then, but um, yeah, you just like get more comfortable and whatever. But yeah, honestly, best decision of my life. I hope this like helped people because when I was looking into Southeastern like extension sites, whatever. Well, I wasn't looking into that. I found ZLC and then I found Southeastern through that. But I just felt like I was really confused and I didn't understand anything. So I hope this can help some of you guys. If it did, if you guys go to an extension site, let me know in the comments down below or just like where you guys want to go to school. If you want to go to school at all. Let's have a chat. I have a secret Facebook group page for my podcast and I'm like constantly answering questions on there. So if you guys have more questions, just go to there. Also, I will say you're better off emailing one of, you're better off emailing ZLC than you are asking me a bunch of questions. I get questions about it all the time and a lot of them I've already answered. I feel like I've answered all of them in this video, but um, the other ones like aren't for me to answer. So definitely reach out to ZLC. Oh, I feel like my biggest lesson that I've learned. I have it now. It came to me. Um, this past year 
which Pastor Chad says this, but it's don't be married to your first idea. If I would have been married to my first idea, which I was for a very long time, and I am a lot of the time in life in just like certain things, I would have never ended up here. And where I've ended up is not where I wanted to go, but I'm so much happier and I'm so, so happy that I'm at ZLC. I, I've said that a billion times, but genuinely best decision I've ever made. So don't be married to your first idea. A lot of your ideas lead you to different ideas. It could be the sixth one that you're supposed to do, you know? So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video with my, it's not my like first year college review cause like I'm a junior, you know what I'm saying? But it's like my first of this school that I'm at. I don't know how to say that. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys soon.